The focus of life for African Americans in the 50s and in the 60s revolved around the efforts of the black church that was very much involved in uh, what we would call a social revolution. As we look at the 60s, the church was not only the threshold, it was the assembly point for the civil rights movement. It had to be socially active, getting people to vote, getting candidates to present themselves there as to how they would enhance the community. Leadership had to come out of the black community. Without the black church, the black community is lost. There were people who were involved in fighting civil rights issues. Don't buy where you can't work because during those years, African-Americans could not even work as salespeople in the dime store. For many African-Americans in Los Angeles, political empowerment was a goal still unachieved. By the early 60s, there was only one black elected official, Congressman Augustus Hawkins. No African-American had ever been elected to local office. That was about to change. In 1962, black church and civic leaders held a community meeting to choose one African-American candidate to run for city council in the 10th district. The Reverend H. Hartford Brookins of First AME Church led the charge. So get up and make that speech. And I therefore nominate the man I think best qualified to take this position. And that's Tom Bradley. Coming out of the convention, there was a fire. I mean, morale was very, very high. 